This is the radio. I brought it back out again. I can see I, I changed things around a little bit. I put the main board on top of the uh, um, the RF output board, and this is the oscillator. Um, I, I couldn't get the oscillator working. I tried about 10 or 15 different versions of it, so I ended up getting a kit off the Internet, which I'm waiting for it to arrive in the mail. And I'll continue with it. Um, the main board is on on, a, on uh, the second tier above the power amp for the driving the antenna, which you, you can't really see, but that's a tested circuit that's working good. Um, uh, some of the oscillators I tried to use crystals, and some didn't, but I couldn't get any of them to operate the right frequency, so I, I ended up ordering the kit. Um, you can see here, uh, this is the main board. Um, that's the DB25 connector that I used to connect. Also, along with that, uh, a Molex connector connects the, the board to the, the chassis mount parts. The Molex connector is right up right there. And um, it connects to the chassis mount parts. Like, for example, um, uh, the, the transmit receive switch, the, the, the pots for uh, IF gain, and that's the IF gain pot there and that's the audio uh, gain pod, audio volume. Uh, let's see, uh, th th these are the, uh, that's the microphone connector on the left and the antenna connector and those are the two tuning capacitors. Well, they're both air variable, one's a 14 to 380 picofarad capacitor, the other one I can't remember the value but it's a smaller value, it's for fine tuning. Um, this is the relay board to switch between transmit and receive. You can see the relays here. If I can get them in the right position, those are the two relays. And some of the switching is done by the, the four-pole four switch, double throw. Um, that's the audio board. It's based on an LM386. You can drive a speaker or a, headphone, a set of headphones. Um, and then I'll show you the uh, RF input amplifier. That's that right there. Uses two uh, uh, two N three nine zero four transistors. They might have been two N twenty two twenty two. It's about, about the same. Um, that's you can see the mix one of the mixers there. Or the the um, uh, there's there's one of the mixers with the with the, the diodes and the transformers, and the other one is up in this area right there. Um, these are the the two uh, fed buffer amplifiers. They're, they're based on. Uh, uh, surface mount parts which I had to solder in with wires very delicately and they work good um, uh, let's see uh, um, this, is, this is where the IF section is, these transistors in this area are the uh, IF uh, amps there, uh, 304's or 22, 22, 22 is also um, and that's, you can see uh, that's the filter. That, uh, that's that's the um, crystal oscillator for the transmit IF. I tried to use circuits for more than one purpose if I could to save on the, the parts count and the, the costs. So I used the uh, one of the mixers and the IF section for, for both transmit and receive with a lot of switching, via the switch and the relays. And I'll have more for you when I when I uh, get the uh, oscillator kit in the mail. Uh, I'll have more information then. Thank you very much. You can see a couple of the uh, other oscillators I built here. This is one that did, this is one of the ones I did with crystals on it. Um, did so many I can't remember which one. This is it's probably a Colpitz oscillator with crystals to stabilize it. The VXO of some kind. Uh, and uh, a lot of them I didn't save. I just rebuilt the on the, on the same board or threw the board away. A lot of them got thrown away. Here's a one with a tank circuit, another oscillator. This is the, the previous version of the uh, transceiver that I designed and built, but I never got it working. had problems with the artwork. I made a mistake in the layout. But uh, that's where it connected to the ground. There shouldn't have been. And these are, this is the other boards from the group that I had made for the more recent version that I'm working on now.